So the man goes, go check out your aunt's apartment. You know, your great aunt, she died. He says, there's nothing in her apartment. It's somewhere in a dangerous neighborhood. You never know what you're gonna find there. So he goes, and you know the story. He finds a suitcase and inside, there's a painting and there's a violin. And there's a note, be careful. This is a Picasso and a Stradivarius. And he runs to this antique dealer, person who's a master of fine arts and says, am I rich? Is it a real Picasso? A real Stradivarius? He says, yes, there's only one problem. What? Picasso made the violin and Stradivarius did the painting and none of them were very good at it. So you can just take it home. The greatest bracha in our lives is for us to stand up to our own Nesiyanis. Who we are is the most beautiful thing in the world. And you're davening Shmon Esrei and a whopper of a thought goes into your mind. You're coming to a shir and this terrible machshava comes into your mind. It says of Hashem Tov, your attitude may be, so apparently Hashem doesn't want my Tyra. No, just the opposite. I remember once the dentist said, you don't stop brushing your teeth. I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to have anything to do for you anymore because you won't have any teeth. And I came back to him afterwards and I said, I'm having terrible canker sores. He says, because you're digging up so much dirt. And once you stop brushing, you'll ride through it. And then when you get to the next phase, you'll be okay. When we start davening and learning, and your Torah and learning is effective, that, says the Baal Shem Tov, is when you're going to have difficult machshavas. Because suddenly it's surfacing. Suddenly the Yetzirah says, wait, what's this guy doing? Don't stop. That's the simon to move on. The Lashon of the Zarya Kaddish is when a snake attacks you in the middle of davening, that means that the Bas Melech, the princess, is behind it. The greatest moment in your life, the greatest key to bracha is when you're trying to daven and you're trying to learn and you feel like you're getting whacked on your head. And the Yetzirah wants to tell you, Shem doesn't want you. And I say, it must mean that I'm making waves. I am moving on.